Turning now to your community focus, what is the most common chronic childhood disease in the U.S.? Turns out it's tooth decay. Here to talk about how you can keep your kids' teeth healthy is Dr. Fred Hartman, president of the Rhode Island Dental Association. Doctor, thanks for being here. Kim, thank you for having me. So February is National Children's Dental Health Month. What's the message you're hoping to get out to parents right now? So we really want to start educating kids on the importance of establishing good oral habits. Mm -hmm. You know, we know if you have a good establishment early on in life, it carries throughout life. And we really want to educate uh, parents and community members about the connection between the mouth and the rest of your body and overall health. Yeah, it's really important. So um, if parents at home are like me watching this right now, I have a toddler. Right. She does not like her teeth to be brushed. She doesn't know how to do it herself yet. How do we get in there and keep her mouth healthy? That, that's a good question, and it, it <laughs> vexes a lot of parents. Yeah. So you're, Kim, you're not alone. So right. you got to make it fun, right? So the show, the tell, show, do works great. Does she mm. have like a teddy bear or something? Oh, yeah. So you could start with that and try and do it not like right at bedtime. Do it like where maybe it's a little more animated and, and receptive. So mm -hmm. you can show brushing the bear's teeth and have her do it and then you can kind of move it into her mouth. Maybe chase Ursula out of her mouth. You know, Ursula's in there <laughs> gonna steal her voice or hey, there's Coach Belichick, let's get him, you know, like, so make it, make it fun and, and they seem to be a little bit more, you know, receptive. That's fabulous. So uh, I know the dentist can be sometimes scary even for us adults. How do we bridge that gap with kids and make the experience of going to the dentist not so scary? So you, you start, you have to find the right dentist mm. and start early. So we recommend seeing a dentist by your first birthday and going twice a year. So mm -hmm. you go twice a year, there's education, it's calm, it's very predictable. And if things do arise, then um, you're in a very you know, nurturing environment mm -hmm. with someone that you're familiar with. It's not like this urgent moment where you're meeting a complete stranger. Yeah. If you have a bad experience when you're young, you're right. A lot of, lot of adults do, that carries on into their, you know, throughout the rest of their life. Yeah, you don't want to be going to the dentist always in a crisis. You want to sort of make it a natural thing. Yeah, All right. absolutely. So um, talk to me about some of the common mistakes that you see parents make when it comes to trying to take care of their kids' oral hygiene. So. One of, the, one of the big mistakes they make um, is not having them brush their teeth for long enough. You should brush for two minutes mm. and do it twice a day. And also most kids, they don't have the dexterity to brush their teeth until yeah. they're seven or eight. A good way to tell maybe is when they, they stop swallowing the toothpaste and they're able to spit <laughs> it out on their own. That's when you know they're starting to have enough kind of responsibility and, and skill to do it on their own. But I have teenagers and I still have to chase after them. So it just, it takes some time and commitment, you know. So the brushing piece is part of it getting into the dentist twice a year is part mm -hmm. of it too and seeing what they eat there's lots of known obviously sodas and candy and things like that but there's that cause cavities but mm -hmm. there's like sports drinks and energy drinks and snacking all during the day those things can cause cavities too mm -hmm. so th those are big mistakes that, that parents often overlook stuff for all of us to keep in mind any other advice before i let you go for either kids or adults to keep our mouths healthy the your, your mouth isn't its own separate place it's mm -hmm. really connected to the rest of your body of and we really are understanding that now in adults and also in, in children. So there's issues with speech, there's, there's pain, there's infection. So you can't nourish yourself and eat really well if you don't have a healthy mouth. And it's really important for your overall health. Great advice, Dr. Fred Hartman from the Rhode Island Dental Association. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me.